it, something happened on on the critically acclaimed show The View where the hosts weren't very happy, specifically with Dr. Phil. And so what happened with Dr. Phil was he was on Joe Rogan and he basically he went on a like a rant about how the lockdowns in schools were not beneficial at all and they actually really harmed children in America. And this is true, right? He's a, he's a, I don't know if he's just a TV doctor or if he's a real doctor or if he's actually like a psychologist, whatever. I, I would assume he is a psychologist, not just a TV doctor, so he does know some things. Um, But he went on The View and voiced his opinion on not only the lockdowns, but, um, you know, what they did to children. And here we go. We're going to, we're going to react to that too, because I do think it's a, it's worthy of, you know, being watched and, uh being talked about so that's what we're gonna do um and we're gonna go through this ad here so everybody bear with me because you know I, I just hate when you know we have to hear the ads so it's gonna it's gonna blare out so bear with me here days full of friend time work time meal time bedtimes family time we got uh, a 22 to seconds of this with M-Gality. M-Gality, taken once a month, and it's on foxnews.com so it's an unskippable ad it here cut monthly migraine days in half don't use if allergic to M-Gality. allergic reactions such as itching rash hives and trouble breathing can occur even days after using apologies for anybody like listening in their car reactions. ask your doctor about M-Gality today all right, here we go. And then COVID hits 10 years later, and the same agencies that knew that are the agencies that shut down the schools for two years. Who does that? Who takes away the support system for these? Some way that shuts it down. And by the way. This is true, by the way. Who does that to the, these kids, you know? It, it's just stupid. Why would you take away two, essentially two to three years of these children's lives, have them in, in school online, away from all these social uh, groups where they're allowed to grow and, and, and learn about humanity as a whole? You took that away. You isolated them. I mean, I have family uh, that were isolated and, I, in my opinion, harmed them, man. When they shut it down... They stopped the mandated reporters from being able to see children that were being abused and sexually molested and, in fact, sent them home and abandoned them to their abusers with no way to watch. And referrals dropped 50 to 60 percent. So it was also yeah. pandemic yeah, going it was, on. They were trying to save, they were the trying to save kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died. Bro, Whoopi Goldberg is such a bitch. Yes, okay. The the, the goal was to was to not have children dying and, and, and passing and catching COVID. Yes, but Doctor Phil actually makes a really good point. He makes the point that children that um you know had school I don't know what this is school was like a safe haven for them and they now were forced to go back to their sometimes if they had abusive households they're forced to go back to their abusers back to their uh, people in their homes that may have been abusive or uh, in some cases sexually molesting them. And he makes up a good point. And the people at The View kind of just like brushed it off, said, screw you, you know, we don't care because we're trying to get you to fit in to our narrative. And so I don't know where this went. Hold on, fellas. Okay, we're going to continue here. So continuing on, here we go. More than 60% of sales love. on Amazon come from independent sellers. Like you simply season in Ogden, Utah. I don't know what just happened. But continuing on, like it, it's stupid. I don't I don't understand why the people in the view are so narrow minded, you know what I mean? It just doesn't make sense to me. Like they, whatever whatever narrative, whoever all the higher ups, whatever they do, uh, whatever they tell the people in the view to think and, and, and say, that's that's what they say, and it's very it's very frustrating because Dr. Phil made a good point, I think. I think he made a very good point, but the fact of the matter is they didn't care, and, and they just continued to, to buy their own, so, yeah. their yeah. own narrative. Yeah. So let's see, so we're going to go back yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. It was, they were trying to save, they were trying to save kids' well. lives. Remember, we know a lot of folks who died during this. Of course people died. It wasn't, people weren't laying not around eating bond, but what, what? Of course people died, that's not the point. That's not the point. Kids were... Um, some of the most protect as one of the most the, the most protected group they were the least likely to get covid and die but for whatever reason our government officials chose to you know 
chose to take them out of school and as a result like dr phil says potentially harm them and not only cause things like depression things like anxiety things like um learning disabilities but now also you potentially sent them back to these homes where they may have been abused well, you know what? We're lucky. Maybe we're lucky they didn't because we kept them out of the 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 places that they could this is get such a be faulty sick logic because no one wanted to believe Whoopi we Goldberg. had an issue. Are you saying no school children died of COVID? I'm saying it was the safest group. They were the He's most right. vulnerable group and they suffered and will suffer. He is exactly right. They were the safest group. They were, they were the least vulnerable group. But for whatever reason, we, we, we not we, but the, uh, our government decided to take them out of their environment where they were going to learn, where they were going to grow, um, and where they were going to be able to learn about the world. And now you have two years of your life that have, have been taken away. So it's very, it's very disgusting. It's not something that I'm proud of our, 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 our government, our system of government. I don't know why they push back against Dr. Phil here. It doesn't make any sense to me. I don't, I don't get it. I just, I, I don't know. I don't know why Whoopi Goldberg and the rest of the view are so harsh on his his beliefs and they they, they they sharp disagreement with not even like really thinking about like what the ramifications were for these kids. But once again, these people, it's just another propaganda arm of the government. That's all it is. It is just another propaganda arm of the government. So we're going to continue on here. Here we go. I'm saying it was the safest group. They were the less vulnerable group, and they suffered and will suffer more from the mismanagement of COVID right. than they will from the exposure to COVID. And that's not an opinion. That's a fact. There we go. Look at that. The view audience was clapping after that he said that. And the view audience is mostly left-leaning mothers and grandmothers that are stay-at-home moms, got nothing to do with their day. So they flip on the view and they eat whatever, whatever. Where I'm done. These people, man. I don't know. Dr. Phil definitely caused a stir, though, I'll tell you that much.